what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back uh, well I have to say I took a break and then I came back to start season two um, it's still Friday for me but you guys won't see the beginning of season two until next week I already have um, the finale ready right now you guys should see it pop up either tonight which is Friday night or tomorrow morning um, because right now the video is uploaded to YouTube, it is ready to go, but for some reason it's taken forever to process on YouTube, which I don't know why. I, I mean, the video is uploaded. I could have been put it out to you guys way before 10 o'clock tonight, and for some reason the video is just there and it's just processing, processing, processing for the past hour. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that shit. So... Whenever it comes out, it comes out. It's ready to go. You guys will see the finale, whatever. By the time you see this video, it, that video should be up. So <laughs> I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But anyways, season two, episode one is here. We're going to start with that. I'm going to do two episodes tonight and then do the other two tomorrow. Um, you don't care. So let's move on. Anyways, last season, basically, make sure you watch the review of season one that I did. Um, I talked about a lot of stuff that I never talked about before about The Last Kingdom, so make sure you go check the review out that I did for the season finale, okay? Because I gave season one a review basically in that video. So make sure you go back to YouTube, check out that video. Um, as I said, it should be up because today should be Monday for you guys, right? So my thing with The Last Kingdom right? I'm enjoying the series. I'm enjoying it very much. Um, you know, other than the stuff that I talked about in the review that I Nick picked about, basically it, it, it's, you know, it's a little bit short of being perfect, you know? And as I said, it is just nitpicking stuff. I still gave the season a nine out of 10. So, um, that's just goes to say, but anyways, I want to see what's next for Uhtred now that King, Al King Alfred has called him Uhtred of Bebenburg for the first time. Okay. And I love their relationship. I love the dynamic. I think it's going to be one of the best relationships in the show going forward. If they don't have another falling out, you get what I'm saying? Both of them has been through a lot. And I think, um, King Alfred has come to trust him. Not, I don't, I, I don't want to say completely, but it seems like completely trusting in him. Um, so I don't know. A lot of people survived, you know, Guthrum. He basically just gave up. He's like, you know, see, their God is with him. Um, so, so yeah, Ragnar and Brita has been captured. So I don't know what's going to happen on their hand. I don't think, I don't think he's. I think he's probably going to ask for them to be pardoned. Maybe Uhtred would ask for them. I don't know. But we'll see what happens. But anyways, let's jump into Season 2. And I will see you guys for the review. Alright, so that was Season 2, Episode 1, man. Very good episode. Very good episode to start off the season. Had me laughing a lot because everything everything was just kind of like, it was just kind of funny how they structured the episode because, it, because it's like, it's showing off the funny side of the story just like how, how the series started off. We had a lot of fun and then it got really, really serious until the end. And they're doing kind of like the same thing here. So it, it will have you laugh. And a lot of the stuff that happened in this episode was really funny. They weren't like dropping off your chair funny, but it my thing is working properly. Anyways, um, yeah. So the way how they structured the episode was, you know, as I said, hit your funny bone a little bit. But I like what they're doing. I like the fact that we're, this storyline that they're establishing with this new king, Guthrum, not Guthrid, Guthrid. Yeah, Gutrid. Yeah. So, I like that. Doing that very well. I don't have no issues with that. Um, it just kind of struck me to kind of see that he kind of has like... 
I mean, the person that they described in the beginning about the prophecy, I, I actually thought it was Uhtred they're talking about because the it just sounds so similar, you know, of the stuff that Uhtred went through. The family got killed and all of that. So it was just kind of weird. But in any case, you know, it worked, <laughs> you know, it worked, ended up being somebody completely different. I uh, thought they were going a different place with with the storyline there, but they didn't. It is actually a guy named Gudrid. Now, as for the person that was. Um, as for the person that was talking to. Um, what's his name? As for the person that was talking to. Um, I don't know what his name was, but the guy that was talking to, to Guthrid, Megan Kim, the one that had the prophecy, I don't trust him. And I think he lied about, about the whole thing. I think the prophecy is a lie. First of all, he said he saw the person's face plain as day. So he's supposed to know what Guthrid looks like, but he doesn't, you know? So, I mean, at first he thought it was Uhtred that was the king and he was completely wrong. So, <laughs> I don't even know, bro. You know, so that was crazy. That's just crazy. But anyways, um, I'm trying to remember the, the, the stuff that happened in the episode that I could talk about. Um, meanwhile, because this computer is bugging out right now. So if you see me pausing a lot, it's because... <laughs> Because I don't want it to mess up and I'm, I don't want to be talking and it's not recording properly. But in any case, it seems like everything is fine. Um, it's awesome, man, to see how this series plays out most of the time um, and to see how they set up the seasons. Episode one is definitely a banger for season two. Of course, I don't have much to say because a lot of stuff. Um, very minimal story development that happened just basically of what, you know, Alfred set out to do. Basically, they're trying to clear out the Danes out of Northumbria. So they got to build an army over there, create friends everywhere so that they can get the Danes out of here. And I do understand why they have to do that, because these guys have taken over so much of the place already. And, you know, they, they won a big battle at the end of season one, but that was just one battle. You know, that was just Wessex. So they still have to take over everywhere else. And then the plan is to unite all the kingdoms into one place called England, right? So I'm here for it, man. And I really do appreciate you guys for keeping supporting the series. Um, Gutrid sister definitely came in surprised me she's really really pretty girl really pretty girl she for a second there i thought it was his old i really thought it was his old but it's not so yeah so i appreciate you guys man you guys are awesome you guys have been supporting the series so continue to do that leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace